uh, I just wanted to say um, I had a little bit of gluten yesterday. I had a couple like Nabisco Cheez It crackers. Be like, well, I don't know, maybe like 20 of them or so. And I didn't think much of it. I was like, well, it's just a little bit of unhealthy food. But I woke up today and my hands hurt, and my shoulders hurt more, and I got an additional contracture in my hand I didn't have before. Uh, my knees really hurt, like just squatting down. It's like really painful. And you know, my ankle hurts. Uh, and my fingers. Like, it's really bad. It's really fucked up. Like, and my, of course, my back, you know, my whole spine is every part of it. I just, it's, it's really fucked up. And that's the only thing I changed part of my diet lately because I had so little food I've just been eating like chicken and vegetables and that's it and then and then I had oh and some pistachios and then uh and for a while and then I only and then I had just that little bit and god god it fucked me up bad so I think maybe that's what's caused all my uh connective tissue problems because I, well, I know, like, uh, forward head posture leads to a leaky gut. Uh, well, according to Hauser from Caring Medical, he said that it makes your gut more permeable. And then more lectins, like, more gluten gets in your gut. Ow, Jesus. Like, my knees are really bad. Like, it just feels like they're going to tear just from standing. Like, it's really, really bad. And, um, God. And so, so yeah, I mean, if that, and then gluten can cause, and then Dr. Gundry was saying that gluten uh, checks your immune system into attacking your connective tissue uh, for some people. Uh, and... So if my body's having an autoimmune response and just saying, all right, destroy all the connective tissue anywhere that you see gluten. Um, and that's really bad. So that could be why I have systemic connective tissue problems and why it's been so hard for me to heal. I mean, I generally try to stay away from gluten, but I've had instances where I've eaten some here and there. And it's causing me problems, and this is really bad. So I, I think that's what's going on. It's horrible. I mean, I'm still going to get tested for Lyme, but this is really bad. And I wanted to say, like, gluten's no joke, and you should avoid it at all costs. Because it's just not worth it.